Hi guys, in today's video, I am going to be demoing how we can do some data analysis and data wrangling task using Pandas library in Python without having to write code. I will be using ChatGPT for this and there must be many videos on this on the same but my major purpose for making this video is that because Python is going to be released in the latest version of uh, Excel in the, in the future days and it's already available in the insider you know, program through Microsoft. So I thought making, making a refresh course for all the people who are working on Excel and want to quickly learn how to use Pandas to augment their data analysis capabilities in Excel. So it's really going to improve and augment the way we do data analysis in Excel. But for people who do not know Python or the Pandas library, they can quickly learn and grasp it using ChatGPT as long as they, they know the concepts of data analysis and what question to ask on the same. I will be using uh, the Jupyter Notebook to execute my Python code. If you want to know how to install the Jupyter Notebook and how to create environments where you can safely run code without having any conflicts with other Python libraries, I have created a detailed video on the same. I will be leaving a link in the description. Please do follow along that video so that you can set up your environment if you wish to follow along, along with me here. I will also be using the employee sample data set which I have been using in my online Excel series so that people who are following the data analysis series in the online Excel can also follow along and compare how easy it is to do data analysis with Pandas and once Python is released in the later versions of Excel they can use this to augment their uh, abilities without having to learn the language but using ChatGPT to assist them in a single in a very simple manner. So let's take a look. Assist me in writing I think pandas code I will provide specific requirements so I've told ChatGPT what I intend to do so it's going to assist me now write code to read uh, data from data from paste the file name and use ISO encoding. I use this because sometimes there are some encoding problems so I use ISO encoding. Ideally I would have to remember this uh, line of code but now I can use ChatGPT to generate this for me very easily and you can see it is done. It will also print the head which I would actually ask it in the next thing but it's smart enough to do that. So let's run this. Let's run this and you can see it has nicely read and also printed out the head. I can remove the print so that it's more clear and has nicely given the first five rows. Now what I want to do is I want to know what are the type of the columns. So can you type code to display the column types. Okay. And I know all the syntax myself but I just thought I'll ask it to do so that people don't have to remember this. So it has written the same code again. I'm just going to copy this last part and it showed me all the types. You can see all the columns are of type object, only age is integer. So I need to do some conversion here and data cleaning. So I'll first see annual salary, it has the dollar sign and comma. So and then the bonus which is having again a text with which should be numbers. But first let me give the data sample to, to chat GPT. This is the sample data set after running the, the head command. Okay, so let's give it the sample so it knows what data we are dealing with here. Okay, so you can you see it has already automatically analyzed that and this given me I will get probably this type of you know uh, you know columns. So it's quite smart enough. So now I'll ask it that now can you write code code to to re remove dollar from annual salary and and convert it into a numerical value okay so let's see if it does that 
okay it is replace the dollar sign it will also replace the comma sign because comma also is there in that and it has converted into float right so again i need to only copy this no need to copy the entire code again so let's run this right and now if i take a look at df dot d types again you can see it's converted into a float i can take a look at df dot head again dot head and it has converted it nicely so i'll do the same for bonus convert the bonus field into a numerical value and remove the percentage sign right so to write the same code and it will convert it into a numerical value okay now what it has done it is it has done it quite well it has not divided it by 100 all right but uh, I will do that. So because fifteen percent is actually point one five. So when I convert, so it is it is doing that right now. Okay, it's giving me an error. Cannot convert float string to float. So this command is not working. I'll let ChatGPT know this error. Okay, they should actually do a replace instead of the other command so i'm getting this but i will let chat gpt correct it i am getting this error so for people who do not know can directly type it here i can ideally use the replace command so it will do that now yes can you see it has done strip and r strip because there must be some spaces so it has done that this should work And it has worked. Now I can see df dot head again. And it has done. Yes, done nicely. And I need to just divide this by hundred. And run it and run this again. It's giving me an error. With values. Okay. So I need. I will need. Put a bracket here. I think. Last chat GPT for this. I need to convert to actual actual percentage values as fifteen percent will actually be 0.15 on conversion. I've given him the example, so let's see if it figures it out. So it understands that, and it has it has given me this. So, which is actually what I did. But let me see if, if this works. Let me tell this error. So let ChatGPT debug this and see uh, what works. Okay. So copy this. Okay, this has seemed to work very well, and I'll take a look at the head. Yes, it has worked fine. So I can remove the old code from here. It hit D twice. Yes. And now this has let me run this cell again. Yes, it has worked fine. You can see the it has converted it into decimal points as the percentage. 0.5. So I can just rename the column to bonus, right? So rename column bonus. 
bonus percentage to bonus because it adds more clarity right it's now a numerical field right so i can just do this and then drop the bonus percentage right all right so let's take a look at df dot head now and it's good bonus is added okay i need not uh, it has divided by again i copied it by so i'll just multiply by 100 here and now do this again this should work fine oh i need to do this too need to multiply bonus by 100 yeah multiply the bonus field by 100 i can write all code for this but i'm just having chat gpt do this for me so that for people who are following along they don't need to actually know the code or, or remember the code okay so this will this will work Okay. I just need to copy this part and delete this. Copy this in the next cell. Right now, df dot head looks good okay now i'll ask you to do some descriptive statistics can you do descriptive statistics sticks on the numerical fields so let's see if we can figure out which are the numerical fields and what kind of i can just use the describe method as it's doing the same thing but i just want to figure out so if chat gpt can figure this out so it is just saying df to describe I can copy this part only. This is fine. And yes, you can see the for the age, annual salary, and bonus, I get the mean count, the first quartile, second quartile, and the third quartile, minimum and the standard deviation. So this has worked worked very well. Let me see if I can ask it okay. Can you show the value counts of the categorical Categorical variables. Again, I can specify which variables are, but let me just see how intelligent it is. I've already given it the data. Let's see if we can figure out. Okay. So it's going to go to the categorical fields. No, it's including object, right? So this is not exactly exactly correct. Okay, fine. It's here. Yeah, I've converted only the uh, I've converted only sum into the numerical values so this should work right let's take a look let's take a look yes it does work okay i need not print this again so just do this okay so it's printing both so i'll just leave it as it is so you see employee id also is is doing it is doing quite a good job Okay, so I would like the categorical variables. Suppose I will say uh, I would like the categorical variables only for okay, it has done for job title, it has done for department, it has done for business units, okay, gender, okay. Mm. So now I'll ask it like uh, I want to remove the employee ID. I want I don't need the employee ID from analysis. Want to drop the employee. Employee ID. So I told it that because I don't need it actually. It's confusing, so it just give me the drop. So I can copy this part. Okay, so need that. I'll ask you to plot some graph for some of the category variables. Let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look for to plot the value counts for. The to df dot columns df 
no got limbs limbs okay i will just do the value plot uh, value count pl plot the value counts for these all right let's ask it i would like to visually represent the value counts for the following columns okay, taste it let's see okay so it is given the category and it's plotting them so let's take a look these are the list of the categorical columns i'll copy this part okay copy this part only let's see if this part works you will need this let's see if this i know it is highest i can value cost by manufacturer i can see the ratio of male female so it's done pretty good job and i can do many more detail analysis i can use different uh, i can do it within department i can do a lot of you know uh, within department and within business a lot of group but it's not be making more videos on the same you want to make me to make any special videos on any specific element of this data analysis do let me know i'll be making uh, taking this series ahead and making more elements on uh, data analysis using pandas so this is it for now and please do like and comment in the section below on what other topics you would want me to make in pandas i'll be doing the other videos on some other aggregate functions like like max min standard deviation and how we can use those and how to group by right in in different other videos to let me know in the comments on any other video you want me to make i'll also leave a link or to my video on chat gpt for, for multiple regressions you can follow along please do subscribe to my channel and like and comment below thank you all for watching